in this new video tutorial we'll uh, see uh, uh, different kinds of uh, plots and uh, graphs that uh, will be very useful to interpret uh, our results. To have a clear picture of this model and of the trend uh, of uh, our response um, we could uh, use a different uh, kind of uh, plot because uh, even if uh, the influence of the linear terms uh, could be easily understood also from the value of the coefficient uh, if we talk about interactions and quadratic terms the situation is not so straightforward we close uh, this plot and again in MLR2E uh, we go to a uh, response surface so uh, in this uh, case we use independent variables uh, and we have to select the minimum value of the range and the maximum value of the range of course we leave here minus one and plus one that is the full range that was studied okay mm, what uh, variable we want uh, to uh, place on the x-axis in this case uh, we put uh, the variable number two um, that was one of the uh, two that had uh, significant uh, coefficients and on y-axis we put number three okay and uh, now we have to select uh, at uh, what is the value of the variable number one uh, that must be kept constant we leave uh, zero that is the center point okay in this case we obtain two plots that uh, one is the uh, an iso response uh, uh, plot uh, and so we have here in function of temperature ranging from minus 1 to plus 1 and the base the other uh, variable that we selected from minus 1 to plus 1 the uh, uh, response uh, that is the conversion um, keeping the first variable uh, at level 0 in the, this other plot uh, we have the uh, response surface so the, in three dimensions the uh, trend of the uh, conversion in function of uh, this, uh, uh, these two variables now we can see uh, two other uh, kind of uh, plots uh, that uh, can be quite useful um, the first one is uh, a method uh, to uh, use this plot to modify this uh, response surface um, to, um, to have a, a, a new view, uh, the best view, for example for a report or uh, for a publication and so on. So we close both and uh, we go in uh, the tab uh, plot editing and uh, we uh, use the 3D plot rotation. Uh, we uh, select uh, what, which graph we want to modify, RASP3D, uh, so RESPONSE3D. Okay, uh, the uh, rotation on the uh, vertical axis, uh, and we can keep uh, 60 degrees. And then we see here that uh, the, programs, the program uh, shows the response surface uh, keeping the same rotation uh, angle but uh, varying uh, the x-axis angle at this point uh, we can decide which is uh, the best view mm -hmm. that, uh, for example we, we can select a static image for a, um, for a report or something like that and uh, maybe okay 210 could be useful we, we close this uh, and uh, we go again in uh, plot editing 3D plot single view in this case we uh, select RESP 3D as uh, before mm, the uh, vertical axis w was 60 and we leave uh, like that and we select the angle that is 210 okay in this case we uh, obtain the graph uh, with the rotation and point of view that we uh, selected and we keep uh, this uh, to be used in a separate docu document 
another very important feature uh, that uh, can be used as the, at this point is uh, um, related to the response surface. Um, we can have a new plot uh, where we have the um, uh, data uh, related to the uh, confidence interval surface uh, uh, at uh, different points. So uh, we select uh, this. Uh, again, the experimental variance is estimated from the residuals. Okay, the, the full range minus one to plus one. We select the same uh, variables two and three, and uh, the variable one at level zero. And here we have uh, the uh, plot of the semi amplitude of the confidence interval uh, <coughs> for the same point. So um, for the same response, uh, that is conversion, we see that, for example, here the conversion is 100% uh, plus minus uh, 1.3, for example, and the same for all the points of the graph. We also uh, find uh, the same uh, graph in uh, three dimensions, and this uh, can be really, really helpful.